All right, so let me get straight to the point. I, I, I think I'm dying. And the reason for why I think I may be dying is because of this recent illness that I suddenly came down with. And the symptoms of the sickness include secondhand embarrassment, involuntarily cringing, violently shaking of the head, disappointment and regret, depression, remorse, anguish, discomfort, displeasure, distress, nausea, and literally any other terms in the English language that can describe the feeling of being relentlessly barraged by tons and tons of videos being posted by these nurses on TikTok who have the audacity to make videos of them saying and doing the most idiotic things that you'd never expect to see coming from people who supposedly go to college for four years to get a degree for this job. Ooh. Ah, it hurts even more every time I watch it. Like, there are so many things wrong with this video that it actually just makes me physically cringe in my soul. One of which is the song choice, Yummy by Justin Bieber. The song that he oh so desperately tried to inflate in the charts by telling his viewers to go ahead and stream his music on Spotify while they sleep. While they sleep. Second of all, who told these nurses that it was actually a good idea to take time out of their workday to stop treating their patients, reschedule appointments, just so that they could get up there and start grinding against a wall, looking like they're at a strip club dancing for them dollar bills. Like I get it, sometimes nursing can be hard and you don't make as much money as you'd like to, but man, uh, you don't gotta resort to this for some quick cash. Like there are other means of making money. But the biggest sin of all, the thing that scarred me the most about this video was the way that the blonde chick in the middle was moving like she got a deadly combination of scoliosis and arthritis. Like I I'm gonna have to call that scartharitis. I mean, who told her that it was a good idea to be a part of this video looking like she just broke her back or something? I don't know. But honestly, she definitely has to work on her movement for the next time she decides to grind on another wall during work hours. And I'm gonna be real, the only saving grace of this whole video was a girl at the tippity tip top who looked like this wasn't her first rodeo. I mean, do you see the way that she was moving up there with all that fluidity? You know, putting her whole body into motion from head to toe as if her life was on the line or something? And all for a 15 second TikTok video. I mean, hey, that's the kind of focus and dedication that I need to start putting into everything that I do in my life. When you've tried everything else to get your patient's blood pressure up. Well, it definitely does seem to be working because I really feel like reaching through my computer screen right now and just punching just the truth. Did you know the best way to not get into a car accident is to not drive a car? Did you know the best way to not get sick is to not go outside? Did you know the best way to not get heartbroken is to just not get into a relationship? Did you know the best way to not get scammed is just to not buy things at all? Did you know the best way to not die is to simply just not live? Yeah, sure. If you don't do those things, you can avoid the potential consequences or side effects that come with, you know, just living life. Like, I don't understand why it was even necessary to state the obvious as if everyone and their grandmas didn't already know that by abstaining from sex until marriage that it can tremendously decrease the chances of contracting STDs. But here's the thing, nobody's gonna do that besides the Amish, Mormons, and people who were unfortunately born without the ability to have sex. But yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet my YouTube channel, my dog, and my hamster that Nurse has married to get it in with Jake from down the block, if you know what I mean. And by the way, it is entirely within the realm of possibility for the person that you are currently married to to give you STDs. Like, let's not even act like that's not possible. Like, you may be confused. You're over here wondering why you suddenly came down with an itching, burning sensation down there, even though you always make sure that it's pristine clean with that new car smell and everything. You can't figure out what you did or where you went wrong, but then you suddenly remember, ah, about that trip your husband took to Bangkok last month, and it all starts to make sense. But basically, what I'm saying is that just as long as you are a living and breathing human being on this planet, you'll never be truly safe from the scary things of life. And the best thing that you can do is to just be cautious and vet anyone who you think you'll be going home with. So please just do not listen to these nurses on TikTok because it's all trash. So hey, uh, you guys want to see something slightly disturbing and a bit on the creepy side from our lovely nurse Holly? Well, it doesn't matter what you say because you're still going to... So as you can see, the first seven seconds of this video is pure terror. Absolute cringe. Like, do you see the way she was looking into the camera? Um, that... That is just terrible. And I totally get that she's just trying to teach kids about which foods are good to eat and which ones are bad, but, uh, kid version of the Joker? I mean, it's, if anything, that's that's what distracted me in this whole entire video. The psychopathic little kid in the background laughing and screaming as if he just set his parents' house on fire or something. You're having a seizure while your sassy gay nurse is busy making TikToks.
Yeah, I definitely don't want this guy ever being responsible for my life if I ever get admitted into a hospital. Like, I imagine me getting hurt one day, you know, I don't know, bit by a squirrel or something. I get admitted into the hospital for rabies and this guy just suddenly walks into my room getting ready to give me some rabies shots. You know what I would be doing as soon as he came to the room? I'd be sitting there like a deer caught in headlights. I'd be looking at him like how Elijah Connor looked at P. Diddy during the, uh, the voice. And as we're having this weird ass awkward stare down as we're just looking at each other, I'd suddenly book it for the door because I'm definitely not letting some dude who is a nurse who uploads videos to TikTok looking like this giving me shots that are supposed to be saving my life like what I'm trying to say is that how do I know that some TikTok nurse dude is giving me the right shots like like I'm gonna ask you this question would you guys trust a guy who um does shit like this in his free time oh and by the way check this article out it says a nurse with over a million followers on TikTok is facing backlash for a video saying abstinence is the best way to prevent STDs nurse Holly has seen since apologized for and deleted the video. Okay, so I'm glad that we got to uh, clarify that. She has apologized. I haven't seen the apology video, but uh, BuzzFeed said she apologized. So, you know, I guess they're a reliable enough source to take their word. But she told BuzzFeed News she deleted the video due to the backlash. She also apologized for any offense that was taken as she only wishes to promote positivity and healthy lifestyles. And then here we have this tweet from uh, Margo, dumb Margo. She says, if I go to get tested and the nurse tell me, I should have waited until marriage. Someone is getting knocked the f out. Yeah, I completely understand the reaction because that's just like, you know, it says here, people who watched her video commented that they felt it was irresponsible for her to suggest abstaining from sex as medical advice. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, if anything, you'd expect that kind of language from a, a Bible thumping Christian pastor who preaches about the 10 deadly sins of the Bible. I don't know. Here we have another video from Diego. He says, healthcare professionals that don't let judgment guide their practice. Let me hear y'all make some noise. Hey, real life nurse here. Did you know that one of the best ways to prevent STDs is to stop? Okay, I couldn't read that too fast. While abstinence is a... Okay, that's too... Who the... F how, how can I read this? There's literally like paragraphs for every second. Oh my God. But I guess he's just trying to tell people that uh to stop spreading false info, especially nurses through TikTok. And then here we have this other video from... Um, I don't know who, but she says, did you know you can see your doctor without your parents? Birth control, STD screening, treatment. If you're older than 12... It's the law. So she's basically saying that if you're over the age of 12 and you're a girl or I guess a boy, you're able to visit a doctor or a nurse for a health checkup. And to be honest, I never knew this as a kid. Never knew that. I always thought that I had to bring my parent with me to the doctor's office. Wow. Who knew that you could learn something through TikTok? But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Honestly, decided to make this video because I was just tired of seeing this trend on Twitter. Every day I would log into Twitter and I see some, some random nurse spitting out dumbass facts. Or let me rephrase because they're not facts. Dumbass opinions about what they think people should be doing in regards to their love lives. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you are new to to the channel follow me at dr destiny yes that is d-r-d-e-s-t-i-n-y on instagram i'm currently doing a giveaway and this